What are today's customers looking for in a reliable mid-sized tractor? First and foremost, versatility is a must. A versatile tractor has to be efficient in every barnyard and field application. A mid-sized tractor must have a variety of options so that farmers can customize their tractor to meet the specific needs of their operations. I'm Tom Kramer for Case International. We've designed Maxim to meet the needs of any farm application. Designed to reflect the quality and reliability of our larger Magnum line, the Maxim offers the same sound engineering and proven results. For the next few minutes, we'll take a close-up tour around Maxim and one of its chief competitors, Ford. And you'll find out why Maxim is the first choice in its class. We know that over the years, Ford has produced good, reliable tractors. And as a result, they have a loyal following. Why then should anyone look any further? Well, the answer is simple. Maxim is the first tractor to offer customers more. More features, more options, basically more choices than Ford. From material handling to field work, the advantage of owning a Maxim is its ability to adapt to any application. First, compare the model lineup in this 75 to 100 horsepower class. Maxim comes in three models, the 5120 at 77 PTO horsepower, the 5130 at 86, and the 5140 at 94 PTO horsepower. Every Maxim model is available in two-wheel drive or MFD, cab or non-cab. Ford offers four models to compete with Maxim. Two economy models, the 6610 at 72 PTO horsepower and the 7610 at 86 horsepower. And two full-featured models, the 7710 at 86 PTO horsepower and the 8210 at 95 PTO horsepower. Available in two-wheel drive or MFD, cab or non-cab, with the exception of the 8210 which is available in MFD only. Let's start our comparison by taking a look at the heart of these two tractors, the engine. The Case IH Family One engine used in Maxim is a proven engine. With a quarter of a million of these in service, it has a reputation of excellent fuel economy, reliability, and endurance. The Ford engine was originally designed for a lower horsepower application. The Maxim engine takes advantage of a true cantilever design, supported entirely at the transmission mounting flange. The tractor front end and side rails carry all the weight and loading. That means longer engine life. Also, designed for turbocharging and after cooling, Maxim has better overall performance. This engine is built with strong components, such as the crankshaft, rods, and block and can easily handle even higher horsepowers. The fully enclosed engine compartment on Maxim provides a consistent operating temperature for improved engine efficiency. Controlled airflow is the key. Clean air is drawn from the front of the tractor and is directed down and away from the platform, which reduces dust, heat, and noise. Ford's vertical muffler doesn't reduce noise as well as the underhood muffler on Maxim. And while Ford promotes its low RPM and piston speeds, engine life is determined more by the design of the engine, not piston speed. The Maxim engine has design features like a cantilever mounted engine, controlled airflow, integral oil cooling, piston oil cooling, and turbocharging that's designed in not an add-on. The Maxim engine was designed for long, durable life, even at higher horsepower, and its longer stroke provides greater engine power than Ford. Maxim's proven design, its fuel-saving capability, and its overall reliability outpace the older design of the Ford engine. Now let's move on to the transmissions. Maxim has two transmission options the fully synchronized, and the power shift. 
On either of these transmissions, you can shift through all of the gears from 1 through 16 without stopping the tractor. Simply shift on the go. Ford's basic transmission is an eight forward speed collar shift with two reverse speeds. So the tractor must be stopped for each shift. Ford does offer an optional eight forward, four reverse synchro mesh transmission with sliding collar range, which means that you can change speeds within a given range without stopping, but you cannot change ranges without stopping. That means Ford provides only four shifts on the go compared to Maxim's 16. Now, why is this important? Well, let's say you're in the field and working heavy loads. If you're in the bottom of a range and conditions get a little worse where you'd need a lower gear, the Ford transmission would force you to stop the tractor to gear down and you could get stuck. With Maxim, there's no compromise. You can shift up or down on the go and use any gear you need to pull through a tough situation. Maxim has 16 speeds. That means more choices and smoother shifting. Ford has only eight. Ford can give you 16 speeds with their optional dual power unit, doubling your shifts, but it's still the same story. You have to stop the tractor before changing ranges. Compare that to the Maxim optional semi-power shift transmission. This transmission gives you four power shifts on the go without clutching in each of four ranges, even under load. Ford's dual power provides only two shifts on the go without clutching. The most outstanding feature of the Maxim transmission is that it provides a full power forward and reverse shuttle, which is operated without the use of a clutch. It allows the operator to change direction in a matter of seconds in one easy move. Standard equipment on every model and only Maxim has it. Forward and reverse hydraulic clutch packs handle all of the clutching. This multi-disc wet clutch provides longer operating life. And this exclusive design provides the operator with a reliable, maintenance-free clutch. Ford doesn't have a forward reverse shuttle. To go from forward to reverse, the tractor must come to a complete stop. And they use a 13-inch organic dry clutch, which requires more maintenance. Maxim also offers a creeper option for all models. It provides operators with eight creep speeds, ranging from two-tenths of a mile per hour to three-quarters of a mile per hour in forward and reverse. This is especially useful in specialty crops or in snow blowing, highway mowing, or other applications. Maxim's creeper option can be factory installed or installed by the dealer. Just one more way Maxim can be customized to meet the growing needs of the customer. Ford's creeper option is also available with eight creep speeds, but it has no reverse creep speeds. Maxim offers both bar and flange axles. Ford offers only flange rear axles. Maxim axles are powered by a four-pinion planetary, while the Ford uses three pinions. More pinion gears mean more tooth contact and reduced wear, which results in longer life. Overall, the Maxim transmission outperforms the Ford in full power shuttle, a broader selection of gears, four-speed power shift, full synchronization, and more creeper speeds. The operator compartment is always an important point of concern. The operator wants a clear view, quick entry and exit, easy to reach controls, and easy to read instrumentation. In designing the Maxim, with or without the cab, we considered all of these needs. Let's compare visibility. The Maxim cab boasts outstanding all-around visibility, with ceiling to floor glass that provides the operator with a full view of the crop or equipment. Now, why is the exhaust stack in the middle of the hood? The answer is simple. In this size tractor, entry from either side was very important to our customers. The hot exhaust stack had to be placed safely away from where the operator might place his hand when entering the cab. The Ford's visibility is somewhat restricted by its large crossbars, 
muffler, and pre-cleaner in front, and the window frame in the rear. With or without a cab, the maximum operator area is easily accessible from the right or from the left. The flat deck design makes entry and exit quick and easy with lots of leg room. Ford's cab models do have entry on both sides, but the entryways are narrower than Maxim. And the 6610 and 7610 non-cab tractors are straddle mount design with left axis only. And every Maxim has this. These controls are used across the product line, whether cab or non-cab tractors. The upper cab controls are also well positioned and are easy to use with or without gloves. Ford's cab also uses a right-hand control console, but the shift levers are long, have long lever travel, and are not as easy to shift. The Maxim offers an optional digital instrument cluster for all models with complete instrumentation, and when radar equipped, even wheel slippage. Ford's digital instrumentation is optional on cab models only. With Maxim, excellence in visibility, accessibility, and total comfort add up to improved productivity and performance of the tractor and its operator. Now let's walk around and compare hitches. Look at the size of the lower links on the Maxim. Maxim set records in hitch lift capacity with 7,700 pounds of lift compared to the 7,710 model, which only has 4,435, you know you've got performance and durability in Maxim. Also, both Maxim links are adjustable, so you can easily level any implement. Unlike Maxim, only the right leveling link on the Ford is standard equipment. Both of these tractors have similar hitch controls but Maxim gives you the advantage of hitch command, an exclusive feature that lets you raise and lower the implement at the end of the row without changing any of the other hitch settings. The Ford hitch relies on top link sensing. Top link sensing is neither accurate nor very responsive in that it can't sense the true load of the implement to the tractor. Ford offers an optional load monitor which makes the hitch act as if it had lower link sensing. Maxim has lower link sensing. Ford's 8210, on the other hand, has electronic lower link sensing. The 8210 is one of the few tractors to come close to Maxim's hitch capacity with 7,600 pounds. And Maxim has an optional front hitch. Ford doesn't offer a front hitch option. Controls lift capacity, lots of features and options. Maxim has more hitch than any competitor. With big front and rear hitches like that, Maxim's the tractor for every job. When we discuss servicing a tractor, operators agree that convenience and accessibility are number one. With Maxim, serviceability was designed right in. First, all the daily service checks, including fuel fill, can be made from the ground. The transmission and engine dipsticks are easy to reach, and the coolant recovery bottle is in plain sight. Side panels are removable for quick access to filters, and the swing-out oil cooler gives easy access to clean out the radiator. Engine oil, fuel, and hydraulic filters are vertical spin-on types, and that means quick changes with no mess. Located outside the cab to ensure a cleaner operator environment, the cab filter is also easy to change or check. A positive jump start post is readily available for assisting other farm vehicles. Plug-in fuses are centrally located on either side of the dash, making replacement quick and inexpensive. Finally, to perform less frequent maintenance, the hood tilts back completely to expose the engine compartment. Servicing and maintenance on the Ford require more time, and that means wasted money. For instance, the operator must climb up to fuel the tractor, and other daily service checks must be made above ground level. To check coolant levels, the operator must open a panel and remove the radiator cap. Ford's fluid filters are horizontally mounted, so they're messy when changed. 
the Ford requires engine oil and filter changes at 150 hours, while Maxim can go up to 250 hours without a change. Even after removing panels, covers, and doors, Ford's engine compartment is still hard to access. Our multi-disc wet clutch needs no adjustments, and it has constant lubrication. On the other hand, Ford's dry clutch must be adjusted periodically, and clutch linkage lubrication is mandatory. You know, Ford has a good reputation, and they build a quality tractor. But our goal was to build a better one. That's why we talk to customers and ask them what they want in a mid-sized tractor. Their list included a full power forward reverse shuttle, a fully synchronized transmission, a high performance engine with good fuel economy and easy servicing, a big comfortable cab with flat floor and easy to use controls. And they wanted this mid-sized tractor to have some big tractor features like the Magnum Hitch Command System and Big Tractor Hitch Strength, the fully opening hood, the positive jump start post, and the list goes on and on. Maxim, a tractor that gives customers what they ask for.